Today is March 13th. My name is Hunter, and we are on a journey into the loving heart of God. We meet here each day on this podcast to read from the Revised Common Lectionary to reflect and to pray. We start today in Psalm 107, verses 1 through 16, and then we go on to Isaiah 60, verses 15 through 22. And we'll finish in John chapter 8, verses 12 through 20. This is the word of the Lord. Psalm 107. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Has the Lord redeemed you? Then speak out. Tell others he's redeemed you from your enemies. For he has gathered the exiles from many lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in the wilderness, lost and homeless, hungry and thirsty. They nearly died. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble, and he rescued them from their distress. He led them straight to safety, to a city where they could live. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he's done for them. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness and deepest gloom, imprisoned in iron chains of misery. They rebelled against the words of God, scorning the counsel of the Most High. That is why he broke them with hard labor. They fell, and no one was there to help them. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He led them from the darkness and deepest gloom. He snapped their chains. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he's done for them. For he broke down their prison gates of bronze. He cut apart their bars of iron. Isaiah 60, 15 through 22. Though you were once despised and hated with no one traveling through you, I will make you beautiful forever, a joy to all generations. Powerful kings and mighty nations will satisfy your every need, as though you were a child, nursing at the breast of a queen. You will know at last that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Israel. I will exchange your bronze for gold, your iron for silver, your wood for bronze, and your stones for iron. I will make peace your leader and righteousness, your ruler. Violence will disappear from your land. The desolation and destruction of war will end. Salvation will surround you like city walls, and praise will be on the lips of all who enter there. No longer will you need the sun to shine by day, nor the moon to give its light by night. For the Lord your God will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Your sun will never set, Your moon will not go down, for the Lord will be your everlasting light. Your days of mourning will come to an end. All your people will be righteous. They will possess their land forever. For I will plant them there with my own hands, in order to bring myself glory. The smallest family will become a thousand people, and the tiniest group will become a mighty nation. At the right time, I, the Lord, We'll make it happen. John 8, 12 through 20. Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. The Pharisees replied, You are making those claims about yourself. Such testimony is not valid. Jesus told them, These claims are valid even though I make them about myself. For I know where I came from and where I am going. But you don't know this about me. You judge me by human standards, but I do not judge anyone. And if I did, my judgment would be correct in every respect, because I am not alone. The Father who sent me is with me. Your own law says that if two people agree about something, their witness is accepted as fact. I am one witness and my father who sent me is the other. Where is your father? they asked. Jesus answered, 
since you don't know who I am, you don't know who my father is. If you knew me, you would also know my father. Jesus made these statements while he was teaching in the section of the temple known as the treasury. But he was not arrested because his time had not yet come. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the people of God. Amen. And now let us take some time for silent prayer and reflection. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we might not fall into sin or be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit on all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh Lord, grant that I might not seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in the giving that we receive, in the pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in the dying that we are born unto eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your grateful children, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. And above all, for your immeasurable love and your redemption of the world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and the hope of glory. Lord, we pray Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but with our lives, by the giving up of ourselves for your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now as our Lord has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for spending another day with us at the Daily Lectionary Podcast. Let me also invite you to join us at our flagship podcast, the Daily Radio Bible, where we read through the entire Bible over the course of a year. But more than that, what we desire most is to see and be transformed by the God who is love. Find out more at dailyradiobible.com or wherever you get your podcasts.
Now let's go forward in God's joy. Let his joy be your strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved.